Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 7a in the Expression 2 series, where I'll be covering the basics of strings. So let's st uh, start by defining a string and a number. And just as a number can be defined as any integer, a string can be defined as any series of ASCII characters, which we'll put hello for now. So let's upload that. And I'm going to get a screen and text screen, subtext screen and we'll wire this to number and string to string and now it says hello so if we want to put number on there we or anything in addition to the string we put a plus sign indicating we want to add another element to the string so we're going to put number if we want to put more text beyond that we put text it's so clever if you want to separate it by a space you have to put space in between each one Alright, let's get rid of all that nonsense. If you want to take the length of the string, you can do, or actually we'll say number is equal to string length. Want to make it all uppercase, all fancy. Type string equals string upper, lower for uh, lowercase, and if we have spaces in here that are unwanted, put trim, and they'll get rid of all the spaces. Otherwise, it'll look like this. We can do trim right to get rid of the spaces on the right. Trim left, and you guessed it, spaces on the left are gone. If we want to reverse the string, we can do that too. If we want to replace something in the string with something else, we would type this, and then the first uh, part of the command, you have what you're trying to replace, and the second part of the command, you have what you're replacing it with, so we're turning hello to jello. You can find a certain letter in the sequence and it will return where in the string oops sorry that's actually a number output very important so I'll put upper some command over here and this will say where the first occurrence of this number is in the string it's the first character so it put a 1 here it should put a 5 and for exclamation point it should put a 6 and if it doesn't have it in the string, you'll return a zero. So it's a very useful command. And then we have um, left and right. And left takes, let's say if we put left three, it'll take just the first three characters. If we put right three, however, it's going to take these three characters. And we can replicate the left three um, with a substring where you take from 0 to 3. However, if we just put 3, we're going to get the opposite side starting from that L. So that's going to conclude all the uh, basic commands that we have to deal with. I mean, otherwise we have repeat, things like that, and um, other things that can be found on the wiki. But that will give you a general idea of what you need for chat commands and all that stuff which are coming in the next two videos. So until then, I'll see you next time.